today we're doing a Q&A video to celebrate having over 1,000 subscribers on the channel. First of all, I've said it a million times now, but thank you all so, so, so much. Every day I read your comments and they make me so happy. I love making videos for you all and I love interacting with you. This channel and all of you have helped me so much. Before I did this, I couldn't even talk at all if I knew I was being recorded and I used to get bullied for my high-pitched voice. But now I get comments all the time from people saying they love my voice and that my videos help them out. And that just makes me so unbelievably happy. And yeah, just thank you so much. I can't express how happy I am to have you all supporting me, but I just want to say thank you. So moving on, we have some questions from both YouTube and Instagram. If you want to be the first to know when I'm making new videos or what I'm up to or ask questions for everyone on YouTube, feel free to follow up my Instagram where you can see cute photos of my cat, what games I'm playing, my favorite books and my ugly real life face. Yes, I'm not actually a cute anime girl. I wish I was though. Anyway, the first question is from Plushy Fairy and they said, when did you realize you wanted to do YouTube? Well, I actually have been doing YouTube since I was about 13 or 14 years old. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I used to have a YouTube channel where I made anime music videos. I also would add English subtitles over Hatsune Miku songs and put subtitles over other anime music that I liked. Some of my videos actually got a lot of views. I remember I had a video of like 10k views and another with 5k. I really enjoyed doing that and I'd probably happily make videos like that still, but Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow me to have all the freedom and creativity I want with that sort of thing. Majority of the time I'd spend months on the video and it would get copyright strike the second I upload it. Not that I made any money off of it anyway, but it was a shame to make a video and nobody even see it. I was also using Windows Movie Maker and that would crash every 5 seconds and forget everything I had done. It also just took up all of my time outside of school. And also, some girls from secondary school also found the channel and would put the videos on. They'd put it on out loud in the study room and ask questions about it. It was quite embarrassing, so I stopped doing that after a while. But the reason I decided to finally make a gaming channel was because... I'm sure you all know this by now, but I do have an anxiety disorder, so since I left school I've literally had nothing to do. At one point I got so depressed about not being able to have a job that I just applied for so so many even though I know I probably would have struggled and not even been able to go to the interview. But actually every single job I ever applied for, even volunteering, they all rejected me. I've always wanted a job and something to do. I tried seeing if I could make money off of my drawings because I've always wanted to be an artist, but it was just not working out and it made me kind of hate drawing, so I stopped doing that. So I just ended up watching YouTube all day, every day, and realized I literally have no friends and don't talk to anybody from school anymore. So I don't care whether they see my videos or not because their opinions literally mean nothing to me now. <laughs> and I remember I spent a whole day watching Animal Crossing videos and not one video where a girl was speaking came up recommended to me. And I remember thinking, why is there hardly any girls making these videos? Obviously there are girls making Animal Crossing videos and I found a lot of new channels recently where that are run by girls, but at the time none of them were being recommended to me. I also found a lot of smaller Animal Crossing YouTube channels at the time and thought it'd be nice if I could have a small channel like that. I never thought I'd be able to make a video because my anxiety used to make me freeze and not be able to speak in front of a camera. But I guess I just realized I didn't care anymore and I just decided to do it. It was a quick thing where I just said, today I'm doing this and my boyfriend Tyler helped me. He let me have his gaming PC to use and helped me learn how to use the editing software. And then I just made the video and uploaded it and that was that I guess. Um, so Rain the Stars says, what got you into Animal Crossing? So I'm not sure really. Um, nobody introduced me to it. When I was little, I literally all I did was watch TV and play video games. So I used to always see the trailer for Animal Crossing Wild World on the ad breaks on TV. And every time it came on, I used to say it looked so awesome and that I wanted to play it. I think I mentioned it to my mom so many times that she ended up getting it for me for my birthday or Christmas and I became completely obsessed. This game was my entire life. I used to sneak the game to school and play during break. This was in primary school, so I was only like 10 years old and I was sneaking my DS into school to play at a break time. And it would be all I speak about to my friends. Eventually they all got the game as well and we all got to play together. I loved playing with all my best friends. We'd all have sleepovers where we played Wild World together and it was super fun. 
I remember I played the game so much that my sister would always get mad at me and tell me to shut up talking about it, and my mum would always threaten to take it off of me if I was rude or whatever. But yeah, I've found it all on my own and I've loved it ever since. And this is a question from Tyler and they said, Who's your favourite Animal Crossing YouTuber? So it used to be Lin and Co. I loved watching their videos all the time. But then they stopped uploading and then YouTube took all their videos down, which really sucks. Other than that, I like watching Misha Crossing, but she doesn't upload too much anymore either on YouTube. So sometimes I lurk in her Twitch streams every now and then to see how she's doing. But yeah, honestly, there's not much Animal Crossing YouTubers that upload the sort of stuff I want to watch at the moment. So myself, maybe? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless. Um, my favourite way to relax. Um, I like to lay in my bed and watch hours and hours of YouTube until my brain goes completely numb. Oh, and eat tons of Pringles and chocolate. Good times. MollyX005 says, What place would you love to visit and why? So, definitely Japan. I'm a huge weeb, so I love so many things about Japan. I think the country is just gorgeous and everyone seems so polite there. There's so much food, games, shows and music I like there. I could go on for hours, but yeah, I'd also like to visit somewhere like Switzerland and see the pretty mountains. I love nature, so it'd make me really happy to be anywhere that's pretty like that. Wisteria and Lavender says, what is your favorite Animal Crossing Pocket Camp furniture theme? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, like the whole rustic, cool, cute and hip thing? I'm honestly not sure, but of course I love anything pastel and cute. I also really like most of the hip stuff and outdoor garden items, like the little mushroom chair and the trees. Oh, and I also love all those crystal furniture items. I think they're so pretty. The Weirdo 11 says, what is your favourite show? Um, I'm not sure I can pick one. I love anything made by Kyoto Animation. I actually used to have a Tumblr blog where I just posted stuff about the anime free. And I also went through a bad time and one of the only things that kept me alive was knowing that a season 2 of free was coming out. <laughs> so definitely free. But also Clanad because it's super amazing, the story is wonderful and heartbreaking and the music is beautiful. I think that's probably one of the best animes of all time. It's a great anime. I also love K-On and I like shows like ReZero and I love literally any romance anime. Name one and I've most likely watched it already. But yeah, you didn't ask about anime so um, my favourite show that's western? I'm really not sure. I liked Game of Thrones until the ending. I also liked the cartoon 16 because I used to watch that when I was little. Oh, sometimes I watch My Little Pony. <laughs> but honestly, I can't really think of one. I like Terrace House on Netflix. But yeah, mainly I like a lot of Japanese stuff or just watch YouTube, so I can't think of many English shows that I like. Kirsty slash Kirsten says, What is your favourite Animal Crossing game? And what is your favourite game in the entire universe? Um, so my favourite Animal Crossing game is Wild World, purely because of how special it is to me. Of course I don't think it's the best one, because obviously it's lacking a lot compared to the other games, but it's still my favourite just the same. And my favourite game in the entire universe is Animal Crossing obviously, but my other favourite games are Undertale and Nier Automata. They're both really amazing games that mean a lot to me. Angel Axel says, if you could go on holiday to Japan, what would you do? Um, that's a fun question. Like I said before, I'd love to go to Japan, so probably one thing I'd like to do is visit some shrines. I'd like to go to the countryside too and see all the beautiful sights. I'd like to go to the Studio Ghibli Museum, or Ghibli? How do you say it where you're from? I think it's different everywhere, but honestly I don't know how to say it. And I'd want to see Mount Fuji as well, and maybe go to that staircase from the movie Your Name. And maybe visit the bread shop from Clanad, the school from Kaon. These are just all from YouTube videos I've seen. <laughs> and I just want to eat Japanese food and do Japanese things. Go to shrines, summer festivals, bathhouses, everything. Simon Saka one says, where are your roots from as far as you know? That's a strange question. Um, I don't really know because my dad left when I was like five or six because he just doesn't want anything to do with me. So I can't ask him about his family, but my mum's side and my granddad is Scottish as far as I know. I really don't know anything about my family because we're all sort of messed up and broken apart, but I know there's Scottish and just probably a long line of English farmers from Kent, I'd imagine. I feel like that's where everyone from here descends from. <laughs> Astro Crossing says, what's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? And if you made an Animal Crossing game, what would it be like? So my favorite Animal Crossing villager is Ruby. And if I made an Animal Crossing game, what would it be like? 
Um, well, Animal Crossing is my favourite game, so I, it would just be the same game, I'd imagine. But it would probably be the exact same game, like New Horizons, but we would be able to cook in the game, which we don't know if we can do yet, but definitely I want to cook in the game. I'd also like it if we could have more interactions with the villagers and our friends. Like, wouldn't it be cute if our characters could, like, hug each other and do that sort of thing together, high five and stuff? And I'd also like it if if we could have way more hairstyles, like way, way more hairstyles and be able to completely customise our face. So like a proper create a character system because we just have these set faces to pick from and there's not many at all. I'd really like it if our characters could choose a mouth, a nose and a set of eyes and maybe like a facial feature like the blushy cheeks or the, the um, saggier eyelids or freckles or maybe even make Harriet run a beauty parlour where you can go and choose different makeup to have and then you can add those sort of um, things onto your face afterwards. I love all of that and basically I just love the game so much I can't think of too much that I would change other than more customization, more interaction with the animals. And I'd just love to be able to cook. I'd love if we could catch a fish and then go back to our house and cook on the stove and put the fish in a little pot on the stove or whatever and, and just get to eat it. I think that'd be really fun. I'd also like it if we can send letters to our friends in real life because I think that'd be awesome. And I kind of wish there was a way that you could choose which fruit you start off with because I really am not looking forward to restarting my New Horizons town straight away if I don't get cherries. And I need to have cherries because my town always has cherries. So yeah it will probably just be exactly the same because i love animal crossing so much sl says how long have you been playing animal crossing um since about 2008 when i was around nine or ten years old when i first played animal crossing wild world on the ds so yeah since 2008 so about 11 years now <laughs> oh my goodness lixia says firstly how are you um i'm doing okay some days i feel down and don't want to do anything and some days I feel stressed because I'm anxious about the channel or my future. Um, like yesterday I filmed a visiting your campsites video and my iPad decided not to save it. So I was really stressed about that all day and it made me in a really bad mood. But majority of the days I'm really happy recently because I get to read all your lovely comments and I can keep myself occupied making videos when I actually stop procrastinating and make them anyway. <laughs> Um, they also said, what do you do in your free time? Um, I like to draw. I have an art account on Instagram that I like to post on. And I love listening to music. Music makes me so happy. Most days I just listen to music and think about stuff. I don't know, most people will probably say that's boring, but I'm just really into music and I love discovering new music I like. So I just like it. Especially when I'm drawing, I just love to listen to it. Or dance around my room. <laughs> I also just mainly watch YouTube videos and watch anime. Um, I also like to play games of course, but I haven't had much to play recently. I've been playing Deltarune Chapter 1 recently and enjoying that, because of course I am, it's an Undertale sequel, so there's no way I wouldn't enjoy it, but yeah, not many games for me to play recently, so the last few months I've just watched YouTube, old anime I like, and some new ones too, like the new Fruits Basket remake that's airing right now. Oh, and I also love to read, like books and manga. I'm currently reading Little Women and The Case Study of Vanitas, which is by my favourite mangaka, Jun Mochizuki. And yeah, I'm enjoying both of those. Um, what inspired you to play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and make your channel? Well, actually, the channel isn't supposed to be a Pocket Camp channel. <laughs> I hope that doesn't upset some of you, but I never intended for the channel to be just Pocket Camp. I just wanted to make Animal Crossing videos and Pocket Camp isn't even in my top 3 Animal Crossing games. I mainly make Pocket Camp videos for you all since I know you love them and because it's fun to interact with you all on there and make friends. And also just because it's the newest Animal Crossing game right now so it's the only relevant one to talk about really. I basically just started making Pocket Camp videos because I just felt like it. I never intended to be thought of as a Pocket Camp channel and I've seen some comments calling me that. I hope you don't find this rude or anything, but I really don't want to be a Pocket Camp YouTuber. This channel's supposed to be for all Animal Crossing games and other games too, so probably when New Horizons comes out, the Pocket Camp videos will slow down or stop. It depends, I guess. I'm sure I'll keep doing them for as long as the game is relevant, but eventually the videos aren't going to be relevant anymore because I'm sure at some point people will stop playing Pocket Camp. But yeah, I was inspired to play Pocket Camp because I love Animal Crossing, and so I was waiting patiently for the game to release and I found it available to download on the store a day earlier than it was supposed to be released and have just played it since. 
um, I decided to upload my first video in Pocket Camp just talking about things I wanted to see on Animal Crossing for the Switch. I just wanted to talk to people about Animal Crossing basically. Um, what level are you in Pocket Camp? So as of today, the 12th of September 2019, I am currently level 87. Uh, can I add your friend code? Yes you can, but 99% chance I won't get to accept you for another 10 million months because there's so many people waiting. It's a huge pain and I feel so bad telling people to wait but there's honestly so many people waiting on my list and my friends list is full and I have to go through and delete people and then find the old people on my list that I said I'd accept and then find their request and then their request has disappeared because so many people have added me in the past month and then I feel bad and I don't know what to do and then I have to search through the comments trying to find their specific comment out of hundreds to try to ask them for their friend code or ask them to resend the request. And yeah. <laughs> But please give me your username and friend code so I can add you in the future for a future campsite tour video. I'll add you to the to the list of people waiting. Um, Josius Andrade, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, says, what made you start the channel? Um, I've already gone into it, but to put it quickly, uh, I love playing games and had absolutely nothing to do. So I just thought I'd make a YouTube video and see what happens. It was a challenge to myself because of my anxiety, but people watched the video and liked it. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to share the games with other people. Um, what is the possibility of seeing your boyfriend in future videos? Um, seeing him? <laughs> well, you guys haven't even seen me in a video yet, so there's probably a 0% chance right now. But hearing him? I don't know, I've asked him if he wanted to record some stuff with me before, but it's always an awkward situation. He's really anxious about social media and doesn't like posting anywhere at all, so... I don't know, I'd love to post some videos of him in though, of course, because he's super funny and sweet and we're always laughing when we're playing games together. But I'm sure at some point in the future he wouldn't mind being in a video. Why do you have such a soothing and beautiful voice? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you to think that. Um. I don't know, nobody else in my family has a high pitched voice, so it really just came from nowhere. Maybe it's because I didn't talk much when I was little, so maybe my voice never matured or something. <laughs> I don't know, some people just have high pitched voices I guess, like Marcia, you know PewDiePie's girlfriend? She has a high pitched voice, so that always makes me feel better about mine. And Vanamelon, she has a voice similar to mine too, so her videos always make me feel better about myself. Have you considered playing Animal Crossing New Horizons multiplayer when the game releases? Um, definitely. I'd love to play games with you all. It's a hard situation at the moment because where I live right now, it makes it impossible to do live streams. So if you didn't know, I currently live at home and have to look after my mum's dogs while she's at work all day. And the dogs are literally always constantly <laughs> barking in the background. It's super hard to deal with and I have to make a lot of cuts in my video to cut out them just being noisy in the background. But me and Tyler O have been on the council list waiting for a house to become available for us both and Little Arch. But it's taking forever and they always give all the houses to the older people and all the flats have a no pets rule. And we're honestly just waiting to find a house so we can move out. It's super hard to get a place at our age with our amount of money. I'm too poor basically. <laughs> But if I, ha if I was to do multiplayer right now, I probably wouldn't be able to sp be speaking out loud. I'd probably talk with you all over a chat or something. But if I've moved out by then, of course, I'm not sure whether to make it a Patreon thing or something like that since I imagine the amount of people wanting to play would get a bit much, just like with Pocket Camp. Or we could just have a big waiting list, but yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it at the moment, but for sure, I'd love to play with you all and visit your towns and play mini games together. If there even is mini games in New Horizons. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Animal Crossing with you all in the future. Mitchell FTS says, who is your favourite villager? Uh, Ruby the rabbit, I think I've already said that. But she's adorable and I love her catchphrase, Lil Wiz. And I love that she's a moon bunny and she moved into my town during a hard time and I became obsessed with her and her little house. And I remember I really liked the noise her flooring made when I used to walk around in it. Random I know, but yeah, she makes me so happy and she's the best. I also love Fang, Drift, Melba, Min and many others. Shoujo Gacha says, if you had to, which villager house would you want? That is a good question. I'm going to be honest with you all, I have no idea how some people know all of the houses for the different villagers. Like, I literally have no clue who would be living in a house just from the outside look of it. I have no idea, but I do remember that I like Ruby's house exterior since she has a pink fence and a purple roof. And I like the inside of Marina's house since it's all lovely furniture. And I like the inside of Diana's house too. But my dream interior would of course be Etoile's house, 
It's so cute and beautiful and all my favourite colours, so I love that. And the exterior is super cute too. Doge Doggo says, what is your favourite Animal Crossing flower? Love you, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you too. And I love your name and your photo. Um, my favourite flower in the game is probably white and pink carnations. I never got to collect much of them in New Leaf, but I think they're super pretty and I'd love if I could fill my whole town with them. And finally, the most important question of all from Dingle Muffin, who says, do you like Oreos? Um, yes I do, <laughs> though I don't like to dip them in milk that much. That might be weird for some people, but yep, I just eat them on their own. I think they're good. I used to always take these tiny packs of Oreos to school with me and eat them for lunch. But yeah, that's all the questions for today guys. Um, I hope I was able to answer yours. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd love to do more because I really feel like I'm actually having a conversation with you all and I like interacting with you all, so yeah, it makes me really happy. Like I said, if you want to be the first to ask me a question or see what videos I'm working on, all that sort of thing, you can check out my Instagram at lulu underscore crossing. Other than that, I'll be sure to post more on the community tab now since I finally unlocked it. Thank you all so so much for all of the support, it honestly means the world to me. And if you'd like to see another Q&A video, feel free to leave questions and things in the comments. If I get enough then I'll be sure to do another. But yeah, if you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe, only if you want to though. I thank you all so much for a thousand subscribers and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!